Hello and welcome, I'm Sam C and this is Sam C Gaming. Today I'm doing the first impressions of Orion, Dino Beat Down. Now, I'll be honest here, I made a video of this before. I spent about three hours trying to get it uploaded. There was a pure first impressions. I had not played the game, I did not know much about it. I played it and I explained it as I went. I had some problems with that video. My keyboard was ridiculously loud and my voice was recorded twice so it had an echo. So I finally decided to do it again. So I've played this about half an hour, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but I can't say I'm an expert at it. So here we go, this is going to be my first impressions of Orion Dino Beatdown. It's currently on Steam for $10. I'd, I'd really like to thank the developers, as they were giving away 100 copies of this game, and I happened to win one. So that was a really, really great marketing tool, I guess you could call it, on their part as it got me to play their game, and I quite like it. So here we go. Oh, that's not what we want. I'm just going to play solo because I don't want to have to deal with lag. First of all, my first problem with this game, I just noticed is, I wish you could change the levels by clicking on the levels or an arrow or something. For some reason you've got to click either there or there, and it scrolls through. There's only three levels at the moment, so it's not too irritating, but I can imagine it would be quite annoying if there was more levels added. So, I quite like the map Eden, so we'll do that. Uh, let's go. So, it's $10 on Steam, and the developers promise monthly updates. Fresh blood. Content updates. So, it seems like quite a good deal if you're interested in this game. Basically what it is, you've got three classes. Obviously, Assault, Support, and Recon, who have their own roles and their own weapons. Assault. So you've got Assault, it's the best for Solo, in my opinion. So this game, if you don't know anything about it, is basically just a survival game. It's futuristic, as you can see, jetpacks, uh, kind of futuristic guns, not this one specifically, but there are some. And, well, let me just show you. So we'll go up, start the generator. That will start the level. Yes, there's vehicles. Everybody loves a good vehicle. There. They're alright there. They control decently, they they're decent vehicles. <laughs> Overall. So momentarily, there we go. I'm sure everybody knows about this game already, but in case you don't, it's a survival game against dinosaurs. That's right, dinosaurs in the future. It's, it's, just, it's just such a great concept. I can't believe it hasn't been done before, but here we go. So, the point of this game is basically to kill dinosaurs. At the moment there's only three dinosaurs. We've got the raptors. We have... I'm not here at the moment, but there are pterodactyls who fly around and pick you up and drop you. And there's T-Rexes. They plan to add I think another six dinosaurs, including three herbivores in the next in the coming months. So it is definitely getting more content. But at the moment there's only three. An odd thing I have noticed about this game is that these are the two dinosaurs I've got to kill to finish the wave. Uh, if I can actually hit them, I Okay. But there is actually more See, there's other dinosaurs around. Oh, Jesus. That's not what you want to see. But there are more dinosaurs around that you actually don't have to kill. I'm not sure what the point of them is, but... Did... Uh... Yeah. I'm not sure what the point of them is, but... They're around. I guess it's so the action never stops or something. I really don't know. So, you kill the dinosaurs. You can get a melee kill, you get more credits. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to die this early. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yes, okay, so we'll load up again. Uh, once it loads up. Yeah, so what I've played of this game, it seems decent. I've only played solos, and I'm sure it would be a lot better if you were playing with someone else, or multiple people. Awesome. I think it's four or five, five players maybe online? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's around five players, so it's an all right player count. Um, yeah, I, I really can't remember. I think it's around 5 though. So here, we'll start this up again and hopefully I do not die. 
so that's unfortunate to say the least. So yeah, you get credits for every kill, as I'm sure you saw before, and you use those credits to buy vehicles, um, get F. F brings up this visor and it shows the location of everything. So as you can see there, there's health and ammo and weapons. You can buy weapons, including pistols, secondary, primary, I think grenades maybe. And there you can buy vehicles, there's a, that buggy type thing, there's a VTOL, uh, there's a mech, and there's one other vehicle but I can't recall at the moment. I've only driven a couple of them, being the buggy and the mech. One thing I do like about this game is it's the maps are huge. As you can see, there's a few outposts, A, B, C, and D. You choose which one you can spawn at. At the moment, I have spawned at D. Oh. Melee him to death. Yep, okay. So I'm at... Which one am I at? C, I think. That's it. But I could adventure out to any of the other outposts I wanted, and yeah, it's, there's um, hidden vehicles around the place, I think they're called hidden vehicles. I found a mech in my last game, and yeah, it's better than paying like the 5,000 credits or something to get them, but it's quite expensive. Uh, it's quite, yeah, a trip out, and I'm not entirely sure where they are. <laughs> so, graphically this game, <laughs> well, it's a tender indie game, so you can't expect too much, but it's on the Unreal Engine 2, I think, and it does look decent. Like, yeah, it, it's good. It's good. I don't have many complaints about it, but it's good. Oh, here we go, pterodactyls. So the pterodactyls fly around, ooh, and they pick you up like that. For some reason, your weapon disappears once they pick you up. I'm not entirely sure why, but it happens. So if, okay, the dinosaurs destroy your generator as well, like this, generator destroyed, and you've got to annoyingly hold down E until that bar down the bottom fills up, which takes a frustratingly long amount of time considering if you get hit it resets, like that. So, oh yeah, this, yeah, you need your generator up to be able to buy weapons and ammo and vehicles and all that fun stuff. So unfortunately for now, I am not buying anything because, oh, wow, yep, <laughs> um, these dinosaurs are Double kill. going to stop me. Oh, hello. So overall, this game, it's good. There's, Fire now. it's got a few rough edges, definitely. I'm sure you can notice a few, like when you get grabbed by a pterodactyl like that, your weapon disappears and. I'm not sure which one grab me. It's this one, yep. Yeah. I can melee it. Yeah, um, it does have a few rough edges, I'll admit, but the developer seems very open to feedback. If you go on their Facebook page, oh god, if you go on their Facebook page, um, he's already asking for tips for updates and any bugs and glitches and things they can improve. So it seems like he's very, very open to community feedback and it seems like he honestly wants to improve the game, which is great. It's one of the things I love about indie developers is they honestly care about their fan base. And it seems like the developer of this game, developers, I'm not sure how many people made it, but it seems like they honestly care about what we think. And they want to make a great game. That combined with the monthly DLC, I think makes this a pretty good purchase if you're interested in the idea of it. Come on, who isn't? isn't interested in survival against dinosaurs. You'd be lying if you said you weren't. It's just... It's just the best. Honestly, I don't really know what else to say. Other than, if that T-Rex comes in me, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's really just a survival game in the vein of Call of Duty zombies or Killing Floor or something like that. It's just... Survival. There's no level up system, there's no perks, there's no kill streaks, there's no ranking up. Each game is its own separate everything. Like right now if I earn five thousand credits and buy a gun, it's only it only applies to this game. 
there's no way I can upgrade the guns outside the game. It, imagine it like Call of Duty Zombies. Everything you do in game does not affect out of the game. There's no way you can, you know, level up and use XP to upgrade your jetpack or anything like that. It, it would have been nice. I know Killing Floor has that. Which, you, you upgrade your classes by getting kills and such. That would be nice, but... It's something they could add in DLC. In the future, I guess, but... Oh, as I said, it's $10, and... If you're interested in this style of game, if you're interested in survival games, if you want a good co-op game to play with your mates, I, I recommend this. It's $10, so you're not going to be out much. It's overall just a good game. It's not amazing, it's not Recon. groundbreaking, it's not going to revolutionize the industry, but it's fun. And sometimes that's all you really need, a fun game. I'm Sam C, this is Sam C Gaming, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.